Two men convicted in the killing of a Cleveland mother in front of her children will spend the rest of their lives behind bars. Tonight, we're hearing from the judge and the victim's mother. Matt Rascone has more from inside the courtroom. True justice in this case is beyond the reach of this court. The facts of the case are disturbing. It's a nightmare. What my daughter experienced is sick. 35-year-old Alantes Beasley and 50-year-old Jamar Skeynes didn't know Alice in Appling, France. The state says they were hired to kill her. You sold your lives. On January 10th, the men stalked 29-year-old Allison for more than eight hours at her home. They followed her to the store, and when she returned, Beasley shot Allison 17 times in front of her 8- and 10-year-old daughters. These little girls cannot live in fear that someday you're free in this world. Beasley declined to speak in court. I am terrified to live by that because I am not a killer. Skeynes apologized for what Beasley did, but claimed he was only there to get a ride to work. I had no idea all this was going on in the wrong place at the wrong time. Judge Brendan Sheehan didn't buy that argument for a moment, pointing to evidence that showed he was with Beasley the whole time. The fact that you stood here and tried to act like you had no idea what was going on is disgusting to this court. Authorities are still searching for a third suspect, 44-year-old Clarence Bennett. But in court, the state and family's focus was on Beasley and Skeynes. Heartless, evil, weak men. And working to get the longest sentence. Keep them from us, please, from society. The judge agreed and sentenced the men to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Allison's two children are now living with their grandma, Russ. Okay, Matt Rascone in the newsroom. Thank you.